Now another big story we are following. Michelle Traconis will be back in court tomorrow, this time for sentencing. She faces up to 50 years behind bars. Convicted of conspiring with her boyfriend, her then boyfriend, to kill Jennifer Farberdulos and then helping him cover up the crimes. News 8's Eva Zamiris has more on what we can expect. Good evening. We know it's going to be a long and very emotional day. In less than 24 hours, Michelle Traconis will learn her fate. She'll be sentenced in Stanford on Friday. She could spend up to 50 years in, in prison. And if I were her criminal defense attorney, I would at this juncture uh, be preparing my client uh, to hear that 50 number. Ahead of her sentencing, both sides will have the opportunity to address the court. Jennifer Farber Dulos's loved ones will deliver victim impact statements, while more than a dozen of Traconis's family and friends in person and by video are expected to speak on her behalf. When asked about the proceedings, Traconis's defense attorney John Schoenhorn told News 8 something was submitted in writing on behalf of the Dulos children, but whether they'll speak is unknown. Former state prosecutor and criminal defense attorney Ryan McGuigan shared there are different factors the judge considers. The judge will take into um, uh, in, in, into consideration what didn't happen here, and you did not get a guilty plea. You did not get somebody who's accepted responsibility for what the jury said that they did. We've also learned from Schoenhorn, the judge will take up an issue raised during Draconis's trial. He argued two counts of conspiring to tamper with physical evidence could be deemed double jeopardy, or simply put, she was prosecuted twice for the same crime. That's slated to happen on Friday as well. Traconis has maintained her innocence from the start, and her attorney says they plan to appeal. Eva Zamaris, News 8.